It's tough to be self-motivated, dude. One of the harder things you deal with, if you're doing your own thing, if you are making your own money, uh, especially by yourself, fucking hard. But it's rewarding if you can figure it out. Figure it out. Especially if you have depression. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's another fucking... Uh, just another fucking thing they throw in there, you know? That's cosmos or whatever it is. It's fucking, you know, screwing with you. Depression is a tough one. And a lot of people deal with it. And I feel like a lot of people have depression. They don't even fucking know it, you know? You can have... There's different types of depression. There's physical depression as well as a mental, and there's the anxiety that deals with all that shit, or deals with it, that's, uh, that adds to it, I guess you should say. Anxiety and depression are pretty similar negative emotions. That's why I'm really trying to make a conscious effort to uh, stay away from sugar. For some reason, I don't know why, for some reason sugar makes me depressed. <laughs> sugar, like, I don't know what it does. I just have a I have a sensitivity to carbohydrates. So that's why this month I am not uh, I'm I'm not touching any grains. Um, Cause that's I look back and that's that's the best time that's the best I ever felt uh, in my life. It's a couple of years ago that I really started to get into low carb. I didn't have any grains for a few months and I was just like oh just like on cloud nine, dude. It just felt amazing. It might be just the shit grains we have here, but with weightlifting I might sneak some rice in there again, you know, at some point. But I'm just trying to stick to no grains for a bit. But yeah, man, if I eat like, a, if I eat, even have like a fucking little bit of sugar, like 15 grams or something that's snuck into something, I just start to get these like, my mind starts to fucking rush. And it's like, I have uh, like uh, these thoughts that are just, they just come in and they're just, they're involuntary and it sucks. So if I stay away from sugar, it doesn't happen. Uh, that's what I always tell people too, that are struggling with depression, to consider that. That's the thing that that's the thing that fucking pisses me off a lot of time about like doctors and shit. I mean, it's getting a little better now, but with with the way uh, with diet, nobody talks about fucking diet, at least enough, you know, with depression and anxiety and all that shit, man. Check your diet. That's that would be the for me that would be the number one, dude. If you have in, uh, any kind of emotional issues, check your diet. It's always that too. It's always diet and exercise. They always hear that fucking telltale fucking. Uh, it's so annoying, you know, a lot of the time. But it's true, dude. It's true. Oh, and, uh, and you know, don't drink, Bob. Yeah, whatever. You can drink if you want. <laughs> Just don't fucking overdo it, okay? Um, I fleecy. how do you recognize depression? That's a that's actually, you know, that's a good question because um, it took me a long time to realize that, well, that sometimes I was depressed. There would be some days where I'm just like, what for whatever reason... I'm feeling like shit. And I'm like, why the fuck do I feel like shit, you know? And it'd be like weeks and weeks at a time. Or it'd be like that. Or or several days or even a few hours. The thing with that is like, it, it, that is a really hard question, actually. It's a complicated question. It's like, how do you know if a person is properly, I don't want to say self-diagnosing, but analyzing their own feelings and, and thoughts? Because, at least for me, I only have my own experience to fucking decipher but if if you have if you have a good grasp on on who you are and what you should be feeling you kind of know what what when you're off you know that's why it's a good idea to check on diet cuz if your gut like your gut and your brain are very much uh synced there there's more science coming out about this all the time that your your gut and your brain are directly linked and if your gut is fucked up then you're fucked up. Um, so that that that's the first thing. But how to recognize depression? That's a fucking hard one. I'm sure people have an idea and could and could add to this in the chat. But I'm trying to like put myself in that spot where you realize it, and it's like everything's kind of dull. It, it, a lot of the time, it can I can I can find it through a bit of anger. If I'm getting like irritable really quickly, and also if everything is just dull, like music I like to listen to, I don't like it. Like I'm just not interested. When you start, like they they say in like textbooks or whatever, depressed people don't necessarily have thing not uh, don't have things that they like. It's just that the things that they like they don't like anymore or today or this week or whatever. So like for me. Music is a good 
way to to tell because i i'm i'm really see here i am in my fucking box um I'm just, i just need to get over that when i'm listening to music like i get really fucking into it like i, I have a physical reaction to music so like if i hear something that's really fucking awesome like a, a tune that's just fucking amazing um i get like I get goosebumps, I get fucking chills, and sometimes tears come to my eyes because I like I I love the song so much that I'm listening to. When I'm depressed, none of that happens. It's all fucking whatever. It's gone, you know? And it's like, oh, you know, there's times there's it a few maybe about four or five years ago I I I stopped one day and I was like, Oh wait, I'm depressed. And that that was like the kind of click for me. It's like, oh, okay, okay. So now I can I can kind of address this. You know, it's like the diagnosing part of my brain. It's like the you know diagnosing a a, a problem on a on an engine or something. It's like, oh, okay, that's why this is happening. That's why I'm snapping at the lovely Amy too much. That's why I'm fucking trying to take out my emotions on shit. That's why I'm withdrawn and I don't want to talk to anybody, even people that I love. You know, okay. And then I have like a uh, a mantra, basically that I've used for like oh my fuck in the past almost ten years probably, is this is just how you feel today. That's my fucking like my mantra basically. And these these are just things I'm telling you guys. You know, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be what you do. It can really help people. Uh, I don't know. It can it can at least for me it can help me uh, just kind of endure a little longer. And that's the biggest thing that uh, a really good thing that I've heard from psychologists and stuff, people, you know, people that post videos about it online or whatever, um, professionals, they say being able to endure it is the is the number one thing. If you can try to build up a way to endure it, then then that gives you a, a closer step towards beating it, if you will. I'm talking about depression, by the way, Tesco. Yeah, very, uh, very lighthearted, fun podcast we're having right now. <laughs> but um, there's, I think there's some good stuff coming out of this. So I have experience in this field. Uh, maybe a little bit too much experience, but uh, drugs can help. If you have good fucking medical care, use it. <laughs> that's my. That's the thing. That's the thing that I, another thing when I when I got older I realized is uh, fuck I should I really should have taken advantage of. Having good health care while I did um, really makes a difference. Uh, and you really kick yourself when you get older and you and you don't have any fucking money. So and that's the thing. Also, uh, it, that's it's really fucking complicated because everybody has different needs. You can't just say, oh, just eat meat and veggies. You can't say that to fucking everybody. Works for me, just eating meat and veggies and, and uh, you know, I have a fucking couple handfuls of cashews i think also consuming positive funny content is really important winky face oh (laughs) yeah uh that's yeah that's the other thing man like that's the other reason i like to do this to fucking uh you know try to make someone's someone corner of somebody's mouth crack open a little bit you know with a smile i like to make people smile you know do a couple of fucking uh, bad uh, impressions. Maybe I'll, uh, you know, on my on the behalf of my embarrassment, maybe you'll have a slightly better day. You know. <laughs>